In this month's segment of Why SRS Matters, we take a look at F Area. F Canyon and FB Line played important roles in winning the Cold War, but much con work continues there today. FH Laboratory supports process operations across SRS and the entire DOE complex. The 235F risk reduction project is well underway. To visit F Area Operations today is to see firsthand one of the cornerstones of the nation's Cold War victory. F Canyon was the first of the site's two chemical separation facilities to begin operations in 1954. Historically, F Canyon dissolved aluminum-clad materials that were irradiated at SRS's nuclear reactors and other test reactors for recovery of plutonium-239 and uranium-238. And while H area is most readily known today for tritium operations, the nation's first tritium facility was actually located in F area. After the Cold War, the facility's production mission was completed and most systems were deactivated by 2006. And while the canyon itself no longer has an active mission, operations within F area continue to support critical nuclear materials management and support missions for the country. The current mission of F area operations is threefold. To provide long-term surveillance and maintenance for F Canyon, ongoing maintenance and support for the 235 F Risk Reduction Project, and support of the critical operations of FH Labs of the Savannah River National Laboratory. Most people probably realize that F Canyon and 235 are no longer operating. Uh, what they probably don't realize is that there's still a significant amount of work goes on in both facilities. Our work here in F area matters because as landlords of the three facilities, we maintain all the systems and equipment that keeps the radiological material contained. We also provide direct support to the analytical activities and the risk reduction project activities. F Canyon and other facilities managed by F area operations are some of the largest facilities on site. Maintaining structural and ventilation systems on facilities of this magnitude presents unique challenges and efforts are being made to optimize and reduce maintenance costs. Plutonium-238, 239 are the legacy components of that. Uh, it's important they stay contained in the sand filters and in the process cells and that we maintain the equipment and that material until the facilities are placed in their final uh, decommissioning state. Near F Canyon is building 235F, which has held several production missions throughout its operational life. Probably its most famous mission, however, was the Plutonium Fuel Form Facility, or PUF Facility, to manufacture Plutonium-238 fuel for NASA. Today, through the 235F Risk Reduction Project, SRS is starting down the challenging path to deactivate 235F. Uh, in terms of why it's important now or why it matters now, is frankly the legacy of that work, which is about one and a half kilograms of leftover uh, plutonium-238 material in the cells that housed that production process. A mock-up facility adjacent to F Canyon has been established, complete with a replica puff production cell. Using the mock-up, project team members are developing the detailed procedures, tools, and disciplined operational knowledge that will be required to safely and securely execute work inside 235F. I think the 235F job is as good an indicator as you'll find of the fact that on this site we have an awful lot of diverse kinds of experience that can be integrated, focused, and brought to bear on just about any challenges put in front of us. Thermal ionization mass spectrometry, kinetic phosphorescence analysis, inductively coupled plasma emission spectroscopy, esoteric words for most, but these are part of the everyday language for FH labs of SRNL. For over 50 years, the highly specialized capabilities and talents of FH Labs has supported the mission-critical materials analysis needs of SRS. The work here in FH Labs matters because we uh, help our customers determine whether their processes are running correctly. We help them with their special nuclear material inventories. We help uh, them identify industrial hygiene hazards. We actually help the people with uh, ensuring that nuclear safety is being maintained and also environmental compliance. Distinguished by their iconic exhaust stacks, the lab's customers include F and H area facilities, the L area complex, liquid waste management and disposition facilities, tritium and other customers across the DOE complex. And with the ramp up of processing in H Canyon, FH Labs will begin moving into high gear 
processing samples to support those operations. We've already had uh, three samples sent over to us and we run those samples through uh, 16 different methods and uh, the data that's obtained from that assures the NNSA that the, that the product that's being produced out of HB line is meeting the specifications that they need it to meet. Due to the variety of site organizations represented in F area and the nature of materials managed there, employees within F area know that safety and close teamwork are critical to the success of their mission each day. Well, when I think of F area operations, I think of family. When I think of family, I think of safety. Radcon operations and the laboratories work very well together to complete the mission of supporting the rest of the site. Uh, that job is important because I get to oversee the daily activities uh, that ensure that we do our job efficiently and safely. Those ventilation systems matter because the, um, uh, we've got to uh, maintain contamination control for all the sa uh, radioactive samples that we, that we process. And we're here to help give accurate answers in a timely fashion so that all the other processes can run. Every operation matters to me because we take care of a lot of the analytical equipment that we run samples from H area. Well, I think FH Lab matters because number one, we work safely every day and we provide quality results to our customers. SRS matters because I believe we are the cornerstone for the national defense of our nation. Proud of its past contributions to the nation's defense, today, F area continues its tradition of supporting the nation's nuclear materials management needs while managing legacy facilities safely. And it carries that pride into the future in helping make the world a safer, more secure place for all of us. Well, I hope this segment helped you have a better understanding of the critical operations ongoing in F-Area. Just another reason why F-Area and SRS matters. <laughs>